Well, welcome to Blackwater Creek Koi Farms. We're a series of three farms located here in Central Florida, as well as Northwestern Florida. Blackwater Creek started out with a $300 investment almost 20 years ago. I met my wife in college, in Fish College up in Minnesota. We both worked for a very large company called Aquatic Ecosystems for over a decade designing and building various types of commercial fish facilities. And during that time, we started Blackwater Creek again with a $300 investment. Uh, during that time, we were able to acquire broodstock from various places, including Japan, and had some help from some Japanese breeders to help us get up and rolling. Our facility comprises approximately 65 acres total and is a biosecure facility. We were one of the first, if not the first, in the United States. Part of our claim to fame is that over 12 to 13 years ago, we stopped importing fish or bringing any fish back on the farm from anywhere. The reason this is important is that there are many, many different factors, different diseases and things that can arise from different places. Uh, we know that in order to get a great mix of different fish, at the time you had to buy them from many, many different places. And when you mix those together, very similar to sitting on an airplane for four hours. If somebody's got a cold, the other person's going to get that cold. So mixing all these fish from different locations probably wasn't the best thing to do. So although it wasn't the most popular choice amongst the industry at the time, we saw it as the right way to go. Uh, fast forward 13 years, we're still in business. We're growing lots of great butterfly koi and standard fin koi. Uh, we've got a great team with professional staff and we're raising some very nice fish. We talk about biosecurity and really what does biosecurity mean? You know, a lot of farms are saying, yes, we're biosecure, we test, we test for viral diseases and so on. In some respects that's true, but in other respects it's not. What biosecurity means to us and to the USDA, and to be honest, our, our facility is being used as the model for biosecurity for the USDA plan. Uh, so twice a year, the USDA along with 10 scientists come here they gather up fish from five individual ponds. They take a total of about 150 fish. These fish are euthanized, their organs removed, and tissue taken from each of those fish, pooled, and then sent off to a lab to be tested for SVC, which is spring viremia of carp, KHV, koi herpes virus, as well as some other enteric uh, viruses that are not quite known in the industry yet, but it's under the surveillance. There's more to it than just washing your hands. Uh, and walking through and saying, okay, we're a biosecure, uh, biosecure facility. This biosecurity program that we have, this is voluntary. This is not something that is currently mandated by the state or the federal government, but this is something we do to ensure that we're providing healthy fish to our customers. Uh, there is definitely a cost. That cost is over $100,000, I think is what we've spent over the last 10 years with this. What is the benefit to us? Well, the benefit is showing to our valued customers, especially Earthworks, who is doing it right, that our fish are clean and they can supply clean fish to their customers without the worries of these viruses. What's the downside of it? If we were to test uh, positive for spring viremia of carp, uh, we would get shut down uh, by the federal government our fish farm would be cleaned completely of fish and dried and sterilized for two years. So the upside is that we know we're providing great fish, great healthy fish. The downside, if we were to test positive, is that we would lose our business. So there is definitely a lot on the line. Again, it's voluntary. And eventually, uh, what we are doing will be used as the model for the USDA program for quarantining and biosecurity. So in the almost two decades that we've been in business, we've seen booms and we've seen busts uh, in this industry along with the housing. You know, back in 05, 06, it was really easy to sell koi. Everybody was putting ponds in. Uh, everybody was a koi dealer. And what you found, it was pretty easy to make money with it. Now, during that time, you had all types of people that were, of course, selling fish. Uh, the difference now that the economy has dropped and now it's coming back, is the fact that there's some that are doing it right. They've been around a long time, they're experienced, they know what to look for, they know how to take care of the fish. Those dealers are invaluable. Uh, take a look in their tanks, take a look at the facilities and the way they keep it. Those are the people you wanna buy from because 
in all aspects of it, it doesn't cost you more. In a way, it actually costs you less because you have somebody that you can go to and ask the questions and get the guidance and be assured that you're getting healthy, quality fish from one source. So a great customer of ours up in Jacksonville, Earthworks, has been with us for almost, if not a decade, doing it right. Uh, they buy from a single source, which is Blackwater Creek. Uh, they provide great customer service. They're a joy to work with for us, and they're a great outlet for knowledge and help for the pond owner. <laughs>